everyone. This is Michael from Eyes of the Universe, and this is the second vlog on the Home Built Cube set and my current progress on it. So, what I've done so far is I've showed some of the parts I've had, and these are some of the tablets that I've been trying to get to work. And I've had them used them for a number of years. These are Novas, the screens are stuck, so I don't really, I've been setting, pushing the reset button to get these to work. They are, they run off the uh, Android operating system, but unfortunately, right now they're stuck. So I'm going to have to look into another alternative. And with the iPhone, I had another iPhone available, but you have to have a Mac to program it or use uh, some kind of Mac OS. So I'm going to look at another alternative to get the, pretty much the brains of the satellite and uh, what I've discovered so far is I'm thinking about using the Java programming language because you can uh, it, you can program any number of Android type devices with Java, and so that would at least allow me to span and test different platforms without having to you know go into really hardcore programming of a particular chip, say with using C um, C plus plus or something. It will work. I'm just saying that I'm just looking at learning a new language and using something that I can use on a, lot, a number of platforms as I'm testing. Also with that, I'm looking at using the largest telescope platform I can use. And in the diagram that I'm going to show here, you can see that a previous CubeSat project I worked on had a much larger telescope and you can see the dimensions on the screen there. I'm going to try to match that or even get a larger one then uh, and that's possibly using a 6U to 12U or even higher CubeSat size range and if you remember each U, 1U is, is 10 cubic centimeters so you can do the, mod, the math from there. Uh, CubeSats typically go from 1U, a lot of them are in the 2 to 3U range, then a 6U and then above that is a 12 u and they probably go larger than that but it starts as far as cubes at standards uh the industry is kind of sticking towards those but there is not necessarily a law to say that you have to do that it's just that what people are choosing so i'm looking at a larger cube set platform six u or more to get the biggest telescope i can possibly fit on the cube set platform because i want to do space observation so it makes more sense to me to do that. So that's the end of the vlog. Stay tuned next week where hopefully I will find another type of tablet to use and we can start programming it and some testing out some of the apps to see how we can connect that to our Arduino, which will connect to some servos and also the devices I use to hold the satellite into position. So that's either uh, a magnetic type of system or some gyros that will stabilize the CubeSat.